welcome to the Anne Ellis Angels YouTube channel. And here are your readings for the coming week. These are general readings. So take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave anything else behind. And I wish you a most successful and enjoyable week. I will be using my teacup tarot deck and my time to shine oracle deck as well. Virgo, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 25th of December. And I'm using every one of my decks all at once this week. The Teacup Tarot, the Time to Shine Oracle, the Mini Mindfulness and Mini Messages Oracle. So let's see what the cards have in store for you this week. And your overall energy, the Four of Pencils, a mindfulness card. So just take some time out to relax and rest this week. Put your feet up. Have a cup of tea. Read a book. Because it's in this time when we're resting. Very often when we think nothing is happening. That everything is happening because we're leaving space. And we can hear the prompts from the universe. We can hear the guidance and whispers of our angels. So taking time out just to listen, just to rest and have a break. Your help or your hurdle up steps the Queen of Pencils. Now we've got two Queen cards right next to each other. This is really lovely. Very strong energy. The Queens are authority figures in the deck and they bring a really positive and strong message. So first of all, in your help part of the reading, the Queen of Pencils comes in with a spring cleaning type of energy, very much out with the old and in with the new. She has absolutely no hesitation in getting rid of anything that isn't working, isn't serving her well, that isn't useful anymore. Allowing space for the new. So very much spring cleaning, cleaning, tidying, working out things that work well for you and leaving behind anything that doesn't. So some positive changes. Your guidance here, the Queen of Coins, absolutely personifies grounded common sense, practicality, resourcefulness, all these lovely qualities, very much focused on family, very much focused on home life and work life. She's very successful and always makes sure that everyone in her orbit has all their needs met. So grounded common sense, practicality and resourceful mixed with this breath of fresh air energy is absolutely beautiful. A real, a real shift of energy coming forward. How can we help ourselves? The unity card shows up. Now, this is about talking things over, working well together, everybody bringing their own expertise to the table for the benefit of everybody else. It's about collaboration. It's about conversation. It's about compromise and finding new ways of working. You're clearly going to take all this on board because the pulling it all together card, the six of pencils is about moving on and feeling good. And here she is, look on the card. She's not just thinking about it or hoping to do it. She's on her way. She's got her back to us. It can sometimes mean a holiday, but generally moving on in a new direction. And I always call this the breath of fresh air card. Things moving after they felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stalled. Very much fitting in with this lovely fresh start energy. And the page of wands as your final outcome card brings in information. All the pages brings bring messages and they all have little envelopes on the card just to remind you of that. Now, the page of wands brings in creative opportunities, positive change, positive news, things you've been manifesting, new ideas and new information. So pay attention to that. This is all coming in to help you. 
and get you moving forward. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. Six of Thought, same card, different deck. Here's this message in capital letters for you. Time to move on and enjoy an improving situation. The Eight of Wisdom says time to do what you know is the right thing to do. So when you're making these choices to move forward, when you embrace the qualities of integrity, honesty, fairness and wisdom, follow that moral compass and it will see you right. It will guide you in a positive direction. The 10 of life is lovely. This is happy home life, happy family life, quality time with loved ones, loving and rewarding relationships. It's financial security and peace of mind. One of the happiest cards in the whole deck. And the one of emotion is lovely. This is in the how can we help ourselves part of the reading. This is an improving intuition. Take that. That's there to help you. Sometimes it means a new home, but generally it's new positive emotions coming in to find you. Happiness, joy, optimism, love. This is absolutely beautiful. The three of wisdom, this is the Empress card in traditional tarot, pulling it all together says take action, get busy on these new projects, nurture and care for yourself, which is an echo of this card here. But this is a card of action, getting busy and working on these new ideas. It's fallen right next to this creativity, new ideas, new projects. This card comes in and says, get busy. The five of emotion as the final outcome card says it's time to move on from the past and follow the signs towards happiness. And we have three cards here. One, two, three of moving forward towards joy. A really strong message in your reading this week. So let's have a look at the mini message card from the intuition suit. This is the card of dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. They hold the answers for you. So it might be a literal nighttime dream, but it also might be something you've been dreaming of coming into view for you to act upon. And humour from the mini mindfulness deck. Make someone smile. It will light up their soul. That's beautiful. So sharing love, light and joy. So looking at your cards overall, there's a strong energy here of out with the old, in with the new, grounded common sense, being practical, being resourceful, making this positive move forward, leaving behind anything in the past Getting rid of anything that's old, outdated and not serving you well. Trusting that moral compass, embracing the qualities of love, honesty and integrity. Because the happiness and joy is here. Working with other people, finding solutions, mentoring, teaching. There's a lovely energy of that coming through strongly in your reading. And when the opportunities come to do just that, get busy because it's time to enjoy this improving situation. The breath of fresh air, the spring cleaning energy is coming in and here you are moving towards it and feeling good. So Virgo, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing. It's free. Just click that button. So have a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you here again soon.